Welcome to our tech troubleshooting session. Today, we're addressing a frustrating issue that many R Selenium users encounter. Our viewer is facing a problem where, after closing the browser or the handler, the port remains in use. They want to know if there's an automated way to free up that port after scraping instead of manually killing the process in the terminal. Let's dive into the details of their code and explore potential solutions together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you're looking for. Guys, let's get ready to try and work through to that resolution, and remember to just stay a little bit crazy, just like me. Now, let's continue on. To address the issue of the R Selenium server port being in use after closing the browser, we need to ensure that the server shuts down properly. First, let's modify the code to include a command that stops the server after we finish our scraping tasks. This will help free up the port automatically. Now, let's see the complete code with the necessary changes. This will ensure that both the remote driver and the server are closed properly. By implementing this change, you will no longer need to manually kill the process in the terminal. The port will be freed automatically after your scraping is done. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To resolve the issue of the R Selenium server port being in use, one user found success by not calling the stop function and only using close instead. However, they noted that this solution worked intermittently suggesting it may not be reliable. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you're encountering the error that the Selenium server signals port 4567 is already in use, you can try specifying a different port. The original code attempts to use Firefox with the default port. When none of the suggestions to close port 4567 work, you can change the port to 4444 or any other available port like 4445, 4446, or 4447. Another option is to reload the session by pressing Ctrl, Shift, and F10, which can also help resolve the issue. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you're facing the issue of the R Selenium server signals port already in use after cleaning your R Studio environment, a simple solution is to run a garbage collection. And that's it, guys. I hope that video helped find the resolution you're looking for. If it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until the next time you need more technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.